Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is EDNA. I am the People's Bay. I just received a phone call from DND Media. Shout out, DND Media. Shout out, Don't Know. I see you doing your thing. Well, in case you didn't know, Rula will be performing live in Zambia at Piazza on the on the second of, of September. Yes, second of September. Brand new, week, brand new month, brand new performances, brand new artists coming through in the country, and they're saying, you know what? It's just by tradition. You need to have a word with Ruga. So here we are, my team and I heading to Elementus right now, hoping to have at least a short conversation with the one and only. Bounce your body away, bounce you out. Let me know that. This is Ben Talks, baby. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment. You know what time it is. Hashtag delivering the industry. Let's go. Um, I was listening to your interview, um, the one you did on, on, on what's that, Apple Music, right. Africa Now, mm -hmm. and you mentioned something to say you feel like people didn't receive the second wave the way we ought to yeah. receive it. Yeah. Why do you say that, though? Because um, the project is like a story to me, you know, mm -hmm. when I dropped the project, it's like, you know, the ladies will pick what they want, you understand, and just do it and just go with that. But me, I feel like the project should, should be run through, mm -hmm. understand, like everything should be listened to. Mm -hmm. So that's why I had to drop the deluxe, you know, just mm -hmm. to explain everything properly, mm -hmm. you understand, so that's why I did that. Can I tell you my favorite song? Favorite song. Useless. See, uh, useless. These, these are people that listen to projects. Useless <laughs> is one of my favorite songs that, mm -hmm. you know, to, to ever come out of an EP. So now, um, I also picked up something. It says you've once recorded a song in the toilet. Yeah, definitely. What? <laughs> <laughs> you once recorded a song in the toilet? Yeah. What I, song was it? Oh, it's not out yet. It's not out yet? Yeah, it's, it's coming out soon, though. Okay. <laughs> and girlfriend to you is, is like a personal experience. Yeah. What experience is it? Lots of experience. Uh uh, we're not buying that. <laughs> Your fans are not gonna buy that. No, what experience? No, 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 no. What, expe on, what experience on. was that? Like what? Just, like what? Just like a. <laughs> come on, you don't want me to talk now. I'm, I can't talk. I'm just, what of. I'm good. <laughs> what, of, what of bounce? Was it also based on the personal experience? Bounce, but no. Bounce was, bounce was just vibes, basically. Like I said, like, I made Bounce. There was a party going on, like, at the rooftop of my house. Mm. So I didn't, I was not joining the party. I was just in the studio downstairs, and I was just recording. Then immediately I was done, I just took the song back to the, uh, straight, straight up to the party. And mm. People started jamming to it. Nice. Let's talk about you making melodies of um, church songs, church melodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I surrender. We are dangerous party. Then uh, I surrender. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was that was. I didn't plan that, but it happened. Wait, which other song would uh, you say I you got it from a church melody? That's all. I don't think so. I think that's all. Do you, Do you know any other one? You're a church girl. Nah, nah. I'll let it pass. I'll let it pass. Um, you blew up within a year. Yep. How was how, how was that for you? Did you anticipate that? Yeah, I worked towards it. It's not like I really anticipate. I just worked towards it. Mm. Like I was on the ground for like um, two years, two years or so, just working, recording, uh, piling up music together, mm. just to show the world, you know. Mm. So I was preparing for the limelight, mm. basically. So when it came out, so we just saw it and it blew up, and we're thankful to all the fans and everyone supporting all around Africa, mm. around the world, you know. Mm. It's, it's an amazing feeling. How did you prepare yourself for the limelight? Yeah. How like to, how to act like a star? How to <laughs> what do you mean? No, like, like definitely like you do, you don't learn how to act like a star. Yeah. If you're a star, you're a star even from birth. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. You don't learn it. It just comes out. It's like a burst of energy that comes out of you. You don't learn how to be a star. Yeah. It's just something that is inbuilt. So like. Yeah. I, I was preparing mainly for the music, mm. you know, preparing mainly for the music, mm. and just trying to find my sound, find mm. a way to balance it up and make sure that, you know, everyone is feeling mm. around the world. So, like, I was just working, working, working back to back every day in the studio, you know, sleepless mm. nights yeah. and everything. So, 
That's just it, basically. Have you guys noticed this guy doesn't have a feature? He's never <laughs> featured on anyone's song? How is that possible, Ruga? And let me tell you something. When, when you came up, right, yeah. I said, this guy. But then I was waiting for you to be on a big artist song, mm. and it never happened. Where is that confidence? Where does it, where does it come from? Well, it's not like um, I don't want to work with big artists or it's something I'm, I'm just like, uh, I'm just saying a no to. But like, I came out as Ruga. Yeah. You understand? I, the main purpose of me coming out was to just carve a name and an image for myself. I want people to know me as Ruga mm -hmm. and not linking my success to anyone in the yeah. industry. And just, you know, so, so like when... I'm doing a feature with somebody. If I decide to do a feature with somebody, you know that it's Ruga and this person. Uh -huh. You understand? So I'm happy how everything turned out. It's not um, it's not a bad thing to no, do do features, but like I'm 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 just waiting for the right time to do it. Yeah. Waiting for the right person. Just yeah. whatever my spirit links up to, I'll do it. Very, very definitely. Some some something is telling me there's a Zambian chick out there or some a Zambian male artist ready to do something with you. Yeah, Will you be down? I'll be down. Oh. It's music. It's music, yeah? yeah? All right, all right, all right. Thank you so much. Now, before you leave, mm -hmm. I know you have your signature dance, but we also have our very own dance. All right, let me see. Scotch and Wemo dance. So you guys ready? Okay. So you... One. Thank you. Two. So, okay, let me, let me do this. Uh, now, you need to stand up, okay? You won't watch me uh, dance. Come on now. So, mm, 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 cha, 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 cha. Cha, 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 cha. There you have it. There you have it. There you have it. You do not say, right? So, we'll go like, one on a musim bimusa. Chu, 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 uli nonete. Then from there, you do like, chu, 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 chu. Come on. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Zambia Kuisa. Zambia Kuisa. Okay. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gents. Ruga on ZNV Talks. Now, get what you my interview zone. Mazen Pele Ramweka, he would love to meet people like Wai Celeb and Kiki. In case you missed it, just remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next interview that we're going to be conducting right here on ZNV Talks. With that being said, guys, subscribe. We're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. Shout out to DND Media once again for allowing us to interview Ruga. Till next time, you know what time it is. It's hashtag elevating the industry. I'm your girl, EDNA, the people's pay. Ciao.